Viewing of the Multiplanar tab This is how it appears when viewing the Multiplanar tab. On the upper left the axial or occlusal or superior inferior view. On the upper right is the panoramic version. On the lower left is the 3D model. Lastly, on the lower right is the cross-section view. The 3D model provides reference on the different views in the multiplanar window. Try clicking on Axref at the lower left corner of the toolbars under 3D commands to see the yellow planar reference through the 3D model. Click on letter T at the adjacent left of Axref to make the plane transparent. There are other references aside from the yellow plane in the 3D model. The yellow horizontal line in the panoramic view is another reference of the axial view. Notice that when you scroll the bar at the right side of the axial window, you will also see the yellow plane in the 3D model and the yellow horizontal line in the panoramic view, following the movement of your axial slices as you move up and down. This time, try clicking on pan at the lower left corner of the toolbars under 3D commands, to see the green plane as the slice representation in the 3D model. Click on letter T at the adjacent left of pan to make the green plane transparent. Click on cross at the lower left corner of the toolbars under 3D commands, to see the red vertical plane as the slice representation in the 3D model. Click on letter T at the adjacent left of cross to make the red plane transparent. The number of views of the cross-sectional slices can be managed by clicking on the multi-planar setup drop-down button. The plus buttons increases the number of columns or rows, while the minus buttons, does the opposite. Try decreasing the rows to just one, for a better view of the cross-sectional slice. Aside from the 3D model, there are other cross-sectional references. The cross-sections are represented by one red and several yellow lines in the axial and panoramic view. Notice that when you slide the navigation bar at the right side of the cross-sectional views, the red and yellow lines follow in the axial and panoramic views. This will allow you to identify which tooth or bone structure shown in the cross section. Insights Diagnostics 